Hi there. This is Ambedkar. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can make a normal printer as a cloud printer, wherein you can give the prints from anywhere, from any device in the world. Uh, so all you need is a working laptop or a, or a desktop with internet connection, and also a working printer which is connected to this computer via USB or via LAN. So what we're going to do next is we we must have Google Chrome because this is Google Cloud service based cloud printing so we must have uh, Google Chrome and also make sure you have an internet connection so let's get in so now that we have installed Google Chrome and uh, log in with your Gmail account Gmail account is a must it's because it's a Google service so Gmail account so just log in first and before that make sure you have the printer driver is ready to be installed on the machine so Windows 7 and Windows 8 they usually detect the printer automatically when you connect uh, via USB or via LAN no not via LAN sorry via USB so I have the software installed already for the printer or else let's try doing it again uh, now that we have installed the driver for this printer we need to open the Google Chrome uh, and then go to settings settings option in the top right corner and then click on settings scroll down all the way and then click show advanced settings and then scroll down all the way down again you will see cloud Google Cloud printing yep so click on manage it will ask you to sign in over here you need to sign in to see your devices click sign in else first sign in and then you can just do the same settings let's sign in I've just signed in and I have this printer driver setting up I'm choosing the USB mode and again this printer does not need Wi-Fi at all this this could be normal printer uh, or any printer which which has LAN or USB supportable supportability so right now the driver is installing once it is done yeah it is done so click finish unplug it and then put it plug it back so that it detects the, the printer properly okay we have plugged it in and now let's go to devices and printers and see if this printer is being installed yep this is installed let's rename it for our convenience right click on it and then go to printer properties change the name to some something which is similar to this I've named it so once we have renamed it just click enter now we have this printer renamed now in order to add this printer to the cloud uh, you need to go to the printing services Google cloud printing services which I've shown you before by going to settings scrolling all the way down the show advanced settings and then scroll down you will see Google cloud printing click on it, click manage and then click on sign in you can sign in here or else you can just go to Google Cloud Printing or else type google.com so just like this I just typed google.com for slash cloud print that's it now we want to add printers so what we're going to do is click on printers and then click I already have three printers here which I have shared before but now let's try to add one one new printer we already had the same thing the same window which I've showed you before click on add printer now it's trying to see what are all the printers we have on the system so just uncheck whichever you don't need hmm. so I'm just trying to add BC301 right now click add printers and then yep manage your printers so this is how it is it's right now connected and that's why it's it's in dark color others are in offline that's why they're in they're like dimmed now if you want to share this printer to somebody else who is somewhere else and uh, wants to print so click on this printer which you want to share and then click share button and then change this to anybody or if you just want to share this printer with some some people 
you can enter their email addresses and again I'm telling you you must need a Google account in order to use this service so just create a normal one or I'm pretty sure everyone has a Gmail account so then what you do is click on this change and in this example I'm showing you how to share this printer to anybody who who, who has access to this printer uh, which you can do it by sharing with sharing a link as you can see I'm trying to share this printer using a link click save now it will show you a link which you can share with you any of your friends so just copy this link and I just press copy and now there is a page limit also so let me put it unlimited but make sure you're sharing it with the uh, known people only otherwise it, it keeps getting the prints from somewhere else or from someone so I have set the limited uh, quote limit to quota to one uh, unlimited now that's it let me copy this link again and click close for simplicity I'm trying to convert this bigger link to a small link using a tiny URL tinyurl.com I'm trying to make this much simpler for, for you guys I'm pasting this link so I just pasted the link choose your random thing for example um, let me show you vc 301 p I have tried this let's see if it does yes it's trying to make a link for us short link vc 301 p okay it's created now let's open some other systems and then see if we can add this printer onto their account and then let's see how it goes well, now we know the link bc301p now let's try to open up another computer now we are using another computer which which does not have this printer installed at all but we can still print through the cloud services but we can still print using this cloud service by Google now I'm turning this on this is a completely new new laptop we have this already set up like these two are connected now let's let's go back to adding the cloud printer that as I told you we need to have Google Chrome so open the Google Chrome now let's log on we'll just log on with some random account log on to Gmail Yeah, now we'll log on with some account, some random account. Now that we have logged on to our Gmail account, we have to open this link, the tiny or link of the shared printer, uh, which is tiny you. URL dot com forward slash bc three zero one p. That is the shared name of the printer which we have shared. Now we have this option. Uh, it shows that adding the printer for so and so email, it will be the same as the one which you actually, uh, which is your email ID. Click add printer, and then it will be added to your list, to, which is attached to your Gmail account. So if you want to print something, first log on with your Gmail account. Now let's try to see if it can print something. There's no way connected to the uh, Wi-Fi or I mean, this lap these both laptops are not connected right now. They're just having a common internet connection or just an internet connection. You, you can assume. Now let's try to print the same page. Let's try to print Control P, and the printer will be listed under this the cloud Google Cloud Print. Can you see it? BC three zero one. So let's choose it and then try to pin. Now see, see the magic. This, this is actually not magic. So as you can see, it's receiving the data. Now it'll pin. Yep. So all you need is a laptop with an internet connection connected to the printer. That's it. So this is how it is.
that's the way how it works. I hope this video helps a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more updates. Don't forget to check out my other videos in this playlist. I hope you find them helpful. They're really worth watching. Have a great day. Bye bye. And one final note at the end. If you log off from this account, you won't be able to see the printer again in the print printing list. Let's see how it is. So you'll have to log on to the Google Chrome and the Gmail account in order to use the same printer which you have added, added before. So let me log off and then see if it works. Earlier the the shape was visible in this printer list but now it's not because we logged off. So make sure you log on. Only then you will be able to see that printer which you have actually added to your Gmail account under this printer list under Google Cloud Printing which is not there in this case right now. So that's all. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.